Hello. In this edition of GDB Watchpoint, we're going to look at user-defined commands. Lots of reasons you might want them, but one of the biggest, of course, is we want to be productive. And then something we're doing a lot, then it's good to automate that thing. Good because we don't because we spend less time doing it. Good because we make fewer mistakes once we've got it right. Uh, two ways to do that. One is the good old-fashioned inbuilt user-defined commands. Um, the other way is a slightly more modern Python way of doing it. Um, both have their place, I find. I think the, if I'm doing something quick and dirty, and it's probably just for that one debug session, then I might do a user-defined command. Um, also, if it's simple. If it's complicated in any, more than a few lines, or it's uh, something that I think I might want to check into source control and share with my teammates, then I'm more likely to use the Python because that's more robust, it's more extensible, and just you know, generally a bit more work, but gives you better results. So let's see them both. Um, so let's say both have their place. Let's start with the simplest user user defined commands. So I've got him. I mean, here's, a, here's a little program that I um, my little multi threaded program. I'm going. Let's say to do a little. Um, sort of role play thing. Let's say that in, we're going to institute a policy in our team that when we submit a bug report, there are certain things we say, please always do, attach this information. So get to that point in GDB, give us a full backtrace um, for all the threads and new name dash A, right? And probably in practice, be a lot of other stuff, but that'll do for our little example. And, you know, sometimes people remember, but sometimes they do a backtrace, but don't do with it full. And perhaps sometimes they do you name dash R, but not you name dash A, or perhaps you just sort of forget what it is. Let's kind of automate that. So um, this is something that we're going to do for the team. So we'd probably in practice do it in Python, but just for the for, for demo purposes, we're going to do it in the user-defined commands as well first. So uh, so let's just say what see what we mean. So GDB threads. Uh, we can run my little program. So we said what we want to do is the following: thread apply backtrace, oh, thread apply all backtrace. Full, see. Um, oh, and yeah. Oops, I forgot to turn off pagination. So set pagination off. Uh, thread apply back trace or full. Okay. Um, and um, what am I going to do? And I'm going to uh, you name dash. What is it? Shell. You name dash a. All right. So those are the commands I want to kind of encapsulate in this little user defined command. Dead simple to make a user defined command. I just go define. And then the command name. So I'm going to call this bug report. And then I type in the set of uh, commands, right? Um, so what did we say it was? We said it was set pagination off, uh, thread apply all backtrace full, uh, uname dash a. Okay. And so now I can just go bug report. Duh. Um, oh, I got that wrong. Okay. Let's do that again. Uh, define bug reports, redefine command, yes, please. So we said we do thread all, and that uh, uname, of course, was have been shell uname, and and so, um, uh, oh, I've forgotten, I forgot to set well, we do the set pagination a bit anyway. So, uh, da -da -da -da, so bug report, excellent. Now I can just copy paste that and append it to my um. Append it to my uh, bug report. Might be nice though if that went into a file. I could put that into a file. So let's let's do that. Um, slightly. Let's, let's add that. So um, define bug report. Um, redefine command. Yes, please. So so set pagination off. Now obviously this isn't ideal because this is going to leave pagination off, and that might confuse users when they type it in. We'll see how we can do a better job of that in the Python in a moment. Uh, in uh, in <coughs> in, uh, in in user command define commands can do it but it's tricky um and not worth it frankly but that'll do for now so set pagination off uh thread apply or backtrace full no damn it what i wanted to say was but in the following so set logging file uh temp bug report dot text then you go set logging on and uh then we go thread apply all backtrace full and uh, shell you name dash a. Uh, oh, but I didn't turn logging off. Damn, let's get that right. Might as well do it right. So define bug report, redefine yes, uh, set logging file blah, set logging on, thread apply all. Show you name dash a. So we, what we're going to do is set logging off. End. So now when I go 
bug report. It tab completes though. But, and what we should see is shell cat temp. There it is. Cool. All right. Um, there's actually, so if you want to do sort of just quick, quick and dirty things, there's a couple of useful things to know with user defined commands, particularly around hook. Um, so you can hook pretty much all commands. So when I run, if I rerun the program, you can see my little threaded program runs to by default for 30 seconds. I'm a very impatient person and I really only want things to be running for, say, five seconds. I always forget to give it a time to run for. Um, so now you can do this from set arg, by the way. So I could do set arg three and that'll make it run for three seconds. Start running again. Two, one, pop, cool. Um, but you know, obviously it's a trivial command line, but if I had a more complicated command line I need to set up, maybe um, I could, uh, I can define a hook command. So I can go define hook dash, and then you can put any GTP command that follows, right? So I'm gonna define hook run, and I'm gonna go set arg three, end. And now when I run, it's gonna default to three seconds. Pretty cool, right? 